In the heart of downtown Zurich lies a surprising gem. Hilta Restaurant has been serving up vegetarian cuisine since 1898. Managing Director Peter Vautier gave us a tour of the facilities and shared with us the Hilta philosophy. So Peter, we hear that this is the oldest vegetarian restaurant in all of Europe. That's correct, and it's also, this fact is uh, confirmed by the Guinness Book of Records. So you're in the book. We're in the book. And you've been open since 1896? Eight. 1898. It's 110 years, and we're going to celebrate the 111th anniversary next year with a big party. Yeah, and it's always been in the Hilltill family for this whole exactly. time. Exactly, from the beginning, and it has always been vegetarian. Mr. Ambrosius Hiltzel was a uh, tailor from Germany, he came to Zurich, and he had problems with the joints. Yeah, and a little arthritis time, issues. Yes, exactly. And at that time, we had a famous uh, doctor in, in Zurich, uh, Dr. Birche Benner, and he told him to stop eating meat. And this helped him. From that level on, the Hiltel family was into the vegetarian food business. Yes. And you say, so the current generation of Hiltel still runs the business, and uh, they've, they've brought in some really interesting things. We see in this space a mixture of old and new, and especially in the architecture. I love that it's, uh, it's a, you say it's very theatrical. The person who designed this was a stage designer. Yes, correct. So everything is open. We can see the food being prepared. Yes. We wanted to open up the spaces, like in the back sections. We wanted to give it more air, because we were always confronted with this bistro style that we had before that was very narrow and very tight. So we opened it up, and we put in a lot of glass, like you see in the back mm -hmm. section. And I think uh, that's particularly important for people who eat vegetarian, because then they get the sense that they can really tell how their food is being prepared and that it meets with their needs or their standards. Correct. And we want we have nothing to hide. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we want to show people that actually it's fresh, it's prepared. People can watch our cooks cooking their food. We think that this vegetarian direction we took is something very special, but we our standard is really pleasure is the first and really most important issue mm -hmm. of the food. We want to say, listen, you can have a quick salad, but you can also have a, a five course menu, a vegetarian menu, really upscale, really good. We have in the back, we have a large wine section and people have a lot of wine with their food. And it really opens up their mind that you don't have to have meat with every meal. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Absolutely. people are really fascinated. We have a camera installed above the buffet and the people working for the buffet down here will always see how many people, how crowded it is up there. So they see right now we only have three guests. So they won't send large portions, so it's always fresh. And at lunchtime it's going to be full packed and you know, steam, full steam ahead. And I'm looking over here at these fresh pastas you have now. Are these flavored with vegetable, like do you have spinach flavor and different flavors of pasta? Yes, we have the, the saffron pasta, the yellow ones, and we have the spinach pasta. And this is whole, whole wheat. wheat. Right, exactly. and I see ravioli. Yes, this is, uh, these are mainly for the buffets. We also have pasta dishes like uh, uh, tagliatelle with, uh, with mm -hmm. truffles. Ooh. Very yes, yes, we yes. Like <laughs> I like love them too. Very yes, much. <laughs> and uh, we had spaghetti alla carbonara, and we substituted the carbonara, the uh, ham, with a uh, ro uh, smoked tofu, and it was really okay. Like this is our cordon bleu. That's made with seitan. Ah, okay. That's stuffed with smoked tofu and cheese, and then it's going to be fried, and it's going to melt the cheese inside, and. Uh, it's really wonderful. A lot of people don't believe that it's not meat. And you will see that's the prep for that. That's the, uh, the seitan, the cut seitan, which then is going to be stuffed. So these. Ah, okay. you know? So it's a giant fillet. Yes, it's, it's like can. a giant fillet. Okay. <laughs> but no cow or no calf have to die for that. Well, and just coming back to the, the respect that's given to the vegetables in here, the colors in all of them are so, they're so vibrant and beautiful. Even the pasta colors from the vegetable juices are just, they're glowing yellows Wonderful. and greens. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> well, we've seen here how sexy vegetarian can be, but there's still one more secret in this place. Come with me. There's a hidden cooking school back here with workstations for people to come in, companies come in here, or you can have a party in here. So there are amazing Gaginau appliances in here. So you can come in, have a little veggie party. Well, we have a lot of companies that actually do some training in here and they show people how to cook. Now we have this large chef's 
table here, yeah, where it's prepared or with all these uh, Kaganel appliances. And we have three stations in the, uh, the corners where people actually get their small recipe, mise en place and so on, and they cook their own food over there. And then we set the tables, or they're already being set, right. and then people eat actually what they, what they prepared. prepared. And we serve wine with it, and it's a nice atmosphere in the back. With a busy bar and nightclub and a dining room full of eager diners, Hilto was just getting going for the evening. Thanks to Peter and the Hilto family for giving us full access to their operation. You can find them online at hilto.ch and see more videos at culinarymedianetwork.com. <laughs>